This comes to your mind when you think of lasers. But do you know, lasers can also be used to cool atoms to extremely low temperatures. Absolute zero is impossible because of Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. It states that it's impossible to determine both position and momentum of a microscopic particle simultaneously and accurately. To cool a system, we need to slow down the particles moving in the system. Okay, but how do massless photons in a laser beam slow down particles having mass? Though a photon has zero rest mass, it carries a tiny momentum as per Einstein's equation. So, when a photon collides with a particle, it changes its momentum by a tiny bit. This is the technique behind laser cooling. For an atom to slow down, it has to collide with an absorber photon that is coming towards it. And the photon absorbed is used to excite the electron in the atom. The frequency of the light so required to excite the electron is called transition frequency. So all we need to do is to bombard the particles with lasers of transition frequency. Not exactly. In reality, we need to use a slightly lesser frequency. This is where Doppler's effect kicks in. Due to Doppler's effect, the frequency is more for the photon coming towards the particle and less for the photon from which the particle is moving away. Because the selected frequency is less than the transition frequency, it is said to be red detuned. To laser cool a tiny sample of atoms, six laser guns are placed at 90 degrees to one another around it. The atom absorbs the red detuned photon coming towards it due to blue shifting and fails to absorb the photon from which the atom is moving away due to red shifting. Many such collisions slow down the atoms gradually and the sample gets cooled. Three physicists won the Nobel Prize for Physics in the year 2001 for cooling rubidium atoms to near absolute zero to produce a new state of matter called Bose-Einstein condensate that was predicted by eminent physicists Satyendranath Bose and Albert Einstein way back in 1924. But why do we even want to cool anything to near absolute zero? Laser cooling has many applications. One application is in understanding the quantum physics near absolute zero. It's also used in extremely accurate atomic clocks installed on satellites, in high resolution spectroscopy, quantum computers and in ultra precise measurement of gravitational fields for oil exploration.